So today we're going to talk about motive. What's your motive for opening a treatment center? Now there's all kinds of good reasons, but what's your motive? Because if your motive isn't pure, there is no way this is ever going to work. So what's your motive? Is somebody in your family an alcoholic? Most of us have an alcoholic or an addict on the family tree somewhere. So that's usually a good motivation. But it can't be just that, because then you just focus on the one person. For myself, the motive was, how can I get drunk drivers off the road? Not the drunk driver that hit my son. It wouldn't do any good getting him off the road. The damage was already done. But my motive is to get the drunk drivers off the road in the future so that my grandchildren won't be hit by a drunk driver. And there's other motives involved here too. You know, the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous tells us that the way to keep your sobriety is by giving it away. So there's another motive I had. I had 15 years sobriety and I hadn't done a lot, but that's a good motive. So I want to help other people get sober. And doing it, we must make a few bucks doing it. Uh, you know, most of them are government facilities where money isn't really an issue. But if you're doing this as a, as a private enterprise, money has to be part of the motive. Because you can be altruistic all you want, but I could not get any staff to work for nothing as much as I'd love to. So, uh, you know, people saying you can't make money out of helping people, they're usually talking about uh, doing 12-step work. This isn't what this is about. This isn't an AA program. This is a program of to help people get clean and sober and help them change their lives and help them change the lives of everybody around them. You know, one motive I had was I wanted to I've got 15 years sobriety, or did have at the time. And the fellow that took me through the steps did such a thorough job that I have all, today I have 25 years. So my motive was to keep his um, process alive. And so after all this time, the, the how Paul, his name is Paul Riopel, he's dead now, but how Paul got everybody clean and sober, and how he presented it. When I first opened this, I took all the staff, including myself, and we redid the program with Paul. And Paul put us all through it, and all the staff said, well, we don't have to go through this kind of stuff. So when we first opened, all the staff had the same program I had, which was Paul's program, which is the same program we have today. So. If you've been through a program and, um, and, and you know this kind of stuff works, then that, to me, is a great motive. So just to remind everybody, we'd like you to put a like or uh, leave a comment so that we know that people are actually looking at this and hopefully I'm helping people. And if there's any questions, just leave the questions. You know, just remember that every day is a bonus. And do the best you can today.